Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back. I got a new little serious thing. These little videos I'm gonna be dropping in every week or so. Not every every week, like every other week, you'll see one of these videos, and uh, each of them have a little specific thing that I hold near and dear to me. I don't know if that made sense to y'all. It made sense in my head when I said it. Not so much when it left my mouth. Now this specific video series here is going to be the most heartbreaking moments of my sports fandom. Now we're gonna kick it off with maybe the most heartbreaking moment that I have suffered as a sports fan. I was just a young boy at the age of nine, witnessing my first World Cup. Okay, not my first World Cup, but the first World Cup that I fully remember because 1999, I was like a year old, and uh, 2002 World Cup, it was in Japan slash Korea, so I really have no idea what happened. I just remember the theme song though, I had a banging theme song. Arriba, arriba, pa, pa, con mi bandera. So yes, this is the first World Cup that was fully engaged, fully invested, knew exactly what was going on. And uh, yeah, Mexico ended up making it to the round of 16 and they played against the mighty Argentina and this young up and coming player by the name of Lionel Messi. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but yeah, Lionel Messi. Now I was at my cousin's house for this game and we were all ready. Everybody was in the living room. I had my little space on the floor. The couches were all full. We were fully engaged and invested for this game against Argentina. And six minutes in, just six minutes in, it was a dream start for Mexico. Like I said, six minutes in, they have a free kick. The GOAT Pavel Pardo sends in the free kick. Mario Mendes flicks it on. And who made a run at the far post? Rafael Marquez, El Capitan de Mexico, meets the ball, beat Gabriel Heinze. Boom, lands a sick little volley and puts Mexico in front. Little flick header, and there, it's it, Marquez! It was a dream, dream start for Mexico because uh, they didn't exactly have a convincing performance during the group stages. This Mexico team did have players, okay. Rafa Marquez still there. Pavel Pardo was there holding the midfield down. Antonio Nelson Sinia, the little playmaker, was there. Omar Bravo was in his prime. Even Alguia Franco was still very good. They didn't take Guatemo Blanco, but that's a different topic of discussion for another. Yes, yeah, so it's less than convincing group stages. They beat Iran, but then a 0-0 draw against the mighty Angola, and then they fell to Portugal. Honestly, they should have cakewalked through the first two games, and the tough game was Portugal, but yes, less than convincing group stages. But hey, six minutes in, a dream start, they got the lead. Unfortunately though, five minutes later, Argentina have a corner kick. Juan Manuel Riquelme sends in the corner where it's met by one Hernán Crespo. In reality, Javier Borghetti header it in, should have been an own goal on Borghetti, but they gave the goal to Hernán Crespo and the game was leveled 11 minutes in. Hey man, but Mexico played their heart out though. They played them tough. The whole 90 minutes, 1-1, one, one. they needed that extra time, and an extra time it happened. Juan Pablo Sorin sends a beautiful cross-field pass to Maxi Rodriguez, brings it down with his chest, and just tees himself up for the ultimate volley, the volley of all volleys. Osvaldo Sanchez did what he could. But over the outstretched hand of Osvaldo Sanchez, the ball kisses the back of the net. Maxi Rodriguez had just scored a golazo. Argentina had taken the 2-1 lead. And Mexico were on their way out of the World Cup. Mexico played their hearts out, man. They played their hearts out in this game. They showed up. They didn't show up against Angola. They didn't show up against Portugal, showed up against Argentina, battled them tough, and it took a bit of magic from one Maxi Rodriguez to reach in, to rip our hearts from out of our chest and send us home. Well, there you have it. One of the most heartbreaking moments of my sports fandom, Maxi Rodriguez hitting that volley, knocking Mexico out of the World Cup, breaking Mexican hearts across the world, across Mexico, across the United States. Still haven't forgiven them for that ball.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't enjoy making it and reminiscing of these hard times, but everything, anything for the content. It's all about content here. It's all about content. I hope you enjoyed it until the very next time. Thank you for watching. Just like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys hopefully Friday, which is tomorrow. Peace.